Hey everyone, uh, this is another one of the videos where I'm going to be deriving the conservation of mass or continuity equation. Uh, this time I'm doing it from another one of my flow models, uh, which is the finite control volume moving with the fluid, uh, which I have driven, or not driven, uh, which I have drawn here. Um, so we can see that we have this blob, which is the finite control volume. Um, and it's moving with the flow, which means it has a fixed mass. But because it has a fixed mass and it's moving with the flow, uh, and the properties change with the flow, that means that we can have a changing shape uh, or volume. I also drew a little differential uh, fluid element here within the control volume uh, with a volume dV. Um, and we'll see why. So the mass of this little finite element or finite fluid element inside the control volume is rho times the volume. So the density in here times the volume uh, of the of the fluid element. Uh, and again the units check out so we have kilograms per meter cubed for the density, meter cubed for the volume, meters cubed cancelled out and we get kilograms for uh, the mass. So physically what the, con uh, what the continuity uh, or conservation of momentum uh, is saying is that as we move along with this fluid, the time rate of change of the mass uh, as it moves with the flow is zero. Um, and you might remember from my other video that that's the definition of the total derivative or the substantial uh, derivative. So, okay, before we move on then, so to get the so to get the mass um, so to get the mass inside this finite control volume, we want to take this mass, little fluid element mass, uh, right here, and we want to integrate it over the entire control volume. So we take this triple integral, because it's a volume, um, so we take the triple integral over the volume uh, of the mass, which is rho dV. Okay. So that's the total mass. This stands for the total mass inside this finite control volume as it's moving with the flow. And that can't be changing because we have a fixed mass. So the time rate of change of the mass as it moves with the flow is zero. So the time rate of change of this, which is the mass inside the control volume, is zero. Like we said, that's the total derivative or the substantial derivative. So we have the d dt times the mass inside the control volume is equal to zero. And that's the final form uh, for integral form um, using the finite control volume moving with the fluid uh, definition of the flow. So we get it in integral form, you can see because there's integrals here, uh, and that's because we use the finite control volume definition as opposed to the infinitesimal, uh, infinitesimally small fluid element. And we get non-conservation form because we're moving with the flow as opposed to being fixed in space. Um, so that's how we derive, this, one, this is one of the four equations that you can get um, from one of the four flow models. Uh, and I'll be deriving the other two, I guess, if you're not watching this in order, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I'll be deriving the other two uh, next. Thanks for watching.